Now, obviously, you two shared a dressing room at West Ham. And I was interested to read the story this week when you were speaking to other media outlets, which I'll just about forgive you for. Um, but it was about you two not talking to each other when you played for England, having been mates when you were barreling around East London as young lads. Just explain from both of your perspectives sort of how this first began. Where did the seed oh, first start? Mine was that we were both at West Ham, came through, done everything together, yeah. room together, proper mates. everywhere. Proper mates yeah. from like 14, 15 years old, done everything. And then I left and went to Leeds and eventually Manchester United and Frank went to Chelsea. And really around that time, we just kind of, our, our communication just kind of just disintegrated. And it was down to really from my perspective, and Frank will give you his after, but the obsession with winning. I didn't want to see Frank have an edge on me. I didn't want to speak to him about anything that might he might be able to take away and, and use to to facilitate his team winning, etc. And I, it just became an unwritten kind of conduct, really. And it was the same with Stevie. When I was of England, Stevie, when we was battling for them for, for the Premier League, I didn't want to really sit around him and be around him because I just didn't want to hear what Liverpool was doing. And it's a fact, he was. And I know he felt the same about me, it's a fact. No, he didn't. He, <laughs> he loved him with you. He didn't but know why he never spoke to him. We're, we're pals, we're friends. I didn't want to sit by him. <laughs> Did, but, did Fergie tell you you can't speak to anyone? <laughs> no, he just say, don't go, full stop. <laughs> yeah, don't go. We've got a game, big game Saturday. Uh. Well, I'm an England fan and I'm sitting at home thinking this is brilliant, this is the golden generation.